me ask about Locatelli. Because for the longest time we've been, you know, for the longest time we talked about, okay, he's playing out of position in, in Allegri setup. Yep. This isn't what he really plays. This is what where he where he actually thrives. And he's turning in some good performances, or he at least looks good on the pitch. I'm willing to argue that he it's the product of the tactics that Juventus are playing. And they play with such compactness that he's not necessarily isolated in certain situations that you typically see most players in his position. So I wouldn't sit here and say that Locatelli has figured out how to play that role. Okay. I would sit here and say that he has understood certain responsibilities that contribute to a collective. Um, It's a very long winded way of saying, I think it's a team effort to bog down the midfield. It's not one man ball winning and tackling. Cause I still don't see Locatelli, you know, as a guy that I would look at and say, yeah, I'm, I'm intimidated if I'm anywhere near him, that he's going to come in and hard tackle me, or he's going to, you know, make me think twice about trying to create through the midfield or anything like that. I think it's the collective. I think that he has, you know, when he is in situations where he has to defend, he has cover, you know, Rabio and, and Miretti know their responsibilities and they get, you know, the, the three of them play tight through the middle. They've got the back three behind them too, to provide cover too. I'm not ready to anoint Locatelli as a man who has adjusted in his career. I think he just does just enough for Juve, but I don't, I don't think he's figured this position out yet. No, we haven't seen the best of Locatelli. I mean, if you look at this midfield five that Juventus put, put out there, he's probably the third best in that midfield. Fourth best. Fourth best, yeah. excuse me. I think Rabiot is really the the, the yeah. best player in that midfield. I think McKenney is that uh, tackle cruncher ball who wins the ball. He's a ball winner. He's a, he's, yeah. a, he's a true number eight, even if he plays on the wings. Meretti is such a good on the attacking side. He he, he, he the, the nuances of the game, Meretti is so advanced for his age, as, as is Fagioli. Uh, and Locatelli is just, like you said, he's in a, in a great system for him at the moment. Is not where he can reach his potential, but he's not going to be found out, like you said. He's not isolated. And because yeah. of that, he can kind of play a little bit more freedom, go and attack when he has to, help out defensively when he has to, and it's a good fit for him at the moment. Will this help him reach his potential? I don't know. Uh, because I think we, for the, as the Azuri fans, need him to reach that potential to really help the, the midfielders that the Azuri have, to give him some, some depth rotation so that – you know, he can alleviate some of them and, and come into games, big games when it matters, and not let the uh, big drop off in the midfield when, when say, a Varati leaves or or uh, Barella gets off the pitch. But he's someone to step in there and kind of keep that play at a certain level. So he's not there yet, but I think he fits well into the system. And like I said, fourth best in this midfield at best. Um, just because uh, Maretti, McKenney's the ball winner, like you said, and Rabio is probably the best, most talented on this team, I think, in the midfield. So, yeah, he's not there yet. Uh, hopefully he can get there, but uh, he's in a nice place at the moment. And this midfield is certainly doing well with him there, you know. 